much. We'll see, but it will rain Friday, so now's the time to make sure that your home or business is ready for it. Yeah, don't wait till Friday. News 10 Line's Ashley Cavaro has some tips to help us stay dry inside. Heavy rain is headed our way, putting homes and businesses who've experienced flooding before at an even higher risk. We're going to have some office staff come in and try to, you know, field some calls. But Wet Basement Solutions says preparing ahead of time is key, and it all starts with checking your sump pump. When you um, are testing your sump pump, you want to make sure you have power, and then you want to run a water source down there, either your garden hose or run some, you know, five, fill up a couple five-gallon pails and just kind of, you know, make sure that thing's turning on when you dump that water down there. Make sure your discharge line is at least four feet away from your home or business and that it's working. Make sure the gutter extensions are good and those are fastened on and everything's good there. Uh, we don't want the, the water just dumping right next to the foundation. That could create, a, a, you know, some other problems. And if your home loses power, then your sump pump will stop working. That's why it's critical to ensure you have a battery backup that's fully charged. The batteries need to be maintained. So if you're not going down there and checking that battery every six months or so and you miss, you know, something, if you, even if you are and you miss something, then it might not be there. Having a water backup sump pump could also keep things dry. If your primary sump pump, for whatever reason, fails, then the water level gets to the certain, you know, a point where your second your secondary is hooked up, then that'll kick on automatically. Helping to keep your home dry so you're not stuck with a big mess to clean up. In Clay, Ashley Cafaro, News Channel 9.